building an asymmetrical spinnaker pole for my Beneteau 235 and I've tried a couple different variations and I've decided this is my third version and I used this idea from Art Cara from the Beneteau 235 website and he built a boat a, a, a bow spirit for his boat out of aluminum tubing and I took his idea and modified it a little bit so this is basically uh, my new version and I used a uh, one inch square tubing aluminum tubing and some aluminum, aluminum tabbing I initially tried welding it but they're slightly different versions of aluminum and they wouldn't stick together so I ended up drilling and riveting it and that actually I think is gonna work out really well uh, I also changed the design a little bit and did a double layer one on the outside and one on the inside and then bolted through here the other thing I changed was how the the tip comes together. So Art's design was pretty simple where he just straight through bolted through his two ends of his square tubing. But I think he might have used thinner or thicker thicker aluminum tubing and the only square tubing that I could find is pretty thin. So I made an extra strap that goes around and is riveted on both sides. And I also bent a loop through the middle here with a keyed pin and that lets me run my tack line. This is the tack point for my asymmetric spinnaker and the, 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 the brace for it. Uh, this is out of Dyneema and I just lashed that down to the anchor, or not the anchor, but the, the, the trailer hitch point on the boat. So I did uh, add this abrasion resistance on my, downs, my downhaul for my bow spirit because my anchor, when it goes out and the boat sails around on the anchor, it could abrade that, that downhaul. So I think this might protect it a little bit. That's my, that's my idea. I also, because I've gone through three versions now of a bow spirit, I added these rings on the end of this through bolt because I'm thinking on stronger, heavier wind, I might need an additional line going back to the side of the boat. To, to further brace my bow spirit. But so far, so far she's been good. She hasn't uh, bent, or, bent or torn out, so I think uh, this might be a success. So it seems like a lot of work to add a bow spirit, and it is, but at the same time, it gives you a bunch of advantages. A bow spirit lets your asymmetrical fly out in front of your boat, away from your forestay. It lets you tack it, or in essence, jibe the asymmetrical on the inside or on the outside rather than getting tangled up inside in your, in your gear on your bow. It also lets your sail plan be much bigger, and that, that lets you fly your sail in a broader range of, of, of angles to the wind. Oh, 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 oh,